Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and I'll be bringing you this quick and easy tutorial on how to FTP to your JTAG or Reset Glitch system. So first thing you need to do is make sure your Reset Glitch or JTAG is connected to your local area network, and you can use either XEX menu or Freestyle Dash to do this. I'll be using Freestyle, but you need to get your local IP. Make sure you have that number in hand, and then just go over to your computer, and we'll continue from there. Alright, so now that we have our Xbox set up and everything and you should have it on the network, while your Xbox is on, I have to emphasize that, and while your computer is on and they're connected to the same network, we're going to want to FTP. So first off, you need an FTP client. Now everyone has their own client that they prefer. Years ago I used to use Flash FXP and I really don't use it just because I don't FTP that much anymore. But I found this great application and it is called FileZilla. Now sure there are probably better ones out there, but this one is free and it's simple to use and more importantly it's free. So it works on every platform, so it doesn't matter what operating system you're using, but just go ahead, go to their website, download FileZilla, and you can go ahead and download it from any of these sources. So I'd be downloading it from SourceForge since I am getting it for Windows, but I already got it. It's about 5 megabytes, it's a pretty easy install, you should be good to go. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. Now I have already installed it, but what you want to do is just open up your FileZilla down here. And we are going to have to set up a new connection for our Xbox if you've never used this. Now, it might look kind of intimidating, but trust me, it's easy enough. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to go to our site manager. Let's make a new site, and I'm just going to call it Xbox 360. So on your host, you just want to enter your IP for your Xbox, which I have set up already, and make sure it is on. Now, the default port is 21, so just go ahead and enter that. It could be different if you change it on your own, but normally it's just going to be 21. Uh, just keep this FTP, use plain FTP. You want the login type to be normal, and then your username on default is just Xbox, and your password is also Xbox. The only time it will change is if you change them yourself. Now go ahead and hit connect, and if you are connected within two seconds, then that means you did it correctly. So as you can see, I am accessing my Xbox right now. Now what you want to do, uh, for example, let's say we want to transfer a file. We can go over to HDD1. That is the onboard hard drive on your Xbox. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, everything is on here right now. And I can edit launch INI just straight from here if I really want to. But uh, what you want to do is go over to freestyle skins and this is just me installing a skin on here now let's say I want to transfer over my pre NXE you just drag and drop that it transfers over pretty fast since this is LAN and you should be good to go on that so there you go that's all done anyways when you're done with this you can just go ahead hit disconnect it disconnects from your Xbox and you're good to go so that is it thank you for watching everyone and I really hope I helped some of you all out because FTPing is a great thing to do if you have a reset glitch or JTAG system it can save you a lot of time anyways this is Mr. Mario signing off thanks for watching